everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place Tropical 5. It's going pretty well so far, no uh, major problems. We do need to do some research. Uh, both of these will give us task completion, but I think it's more important for me to get the military fort as soon as possible. Nice to have a military fort in case we decide that civil war is the way that we're going to eventually uh, repel the crown from our lands, and that's probably the way I will do it, because otherwise it costs 20000 uh, well, it gives us 20000 in debt, which is not really what I'm interested in. And um, I think that's that's the right way to handle things. It'll also give us like eight jobs. So I'm assuming that on the next boat that comes in, we will have... Um, comes in in one month, so like right now. Um, I'm assuming that we'll have some immigrants. Ten immigrants means we have nine open jobs. What do we want to do to give people uh, that currently don't have jobs some jobs? Well, one thing I'm going to do just to start with here... Um, good, our guard tower does have people working in it. I am going to uh, send out an expedition, and this will just be to explore the uh, the island. We'll just take a little bit to like the north uh, east here. Hopefully, we'll find some place that we can mine. Because for now, I don't think that um, we're going to be able to make good use of our magnet. Magnate, anyway, our manager that's kind of walking around right now, not doing too much. So for a thousand dollars, these guys will just uh, go explore a little bit for us, which is fine. The danger is we don't have much military back uh, if they if we get invaded by pirates or something like that, but that's pretty unlikely to happen. What I will build is a logging camp. Now, there's not a whole lot of trees in the vicinity, but I would... You know what? Maybe I can actually... If from our training contract, maybe I can actually import planks? I can import logs. Uh, but I can't do this because I have no available ships. How's What's my current ship doing? Um, I've actually forgotten. There we go. How much time does it have left? 48 months. That's a long time. Alright, so we're... It's, it's a complicated situation. Let's put it that way. How many people does a logging camp employ? Oh, I didn't look at it for a second. I'm still going to place it, though. I think we'll put it... Over, I mean, I know that this is a yellow area here. Uneven terrain. But I, I think this will do. We'll put it down for now. And I'll also build a road to it. And it's going to come out this way and over here. Okay. So this might be a terrible place for a logging camp, but at least it gives us some jobs. I, I've forgotten how many people work at a logging camp. We can check quickly, I guess. Uh, logging camp is six people. That's good. So that'll eliminate some unemployment. Right now we have nine people unemployed. Um, what else can we build that might help out but not cost too much money? Oh, the crown just sent us a bunch. So let's build a religious building. We'll build a Catholic mission. And we'll build it right next to these houses. And the reason we'll do that is because it increases religious liberty in the surrounding area. Now, mind you, the surrounding area is probably a lot larger than like just half a city block here. But we might as well build it close to our main population centers, I guess. And this will make people much happier on the uh, religious spectrum. So we can probably expect that this will grow a little bit, like this approval rating. And remember, our overall goal is to get military strength, strengthen the revolutionaries, and get that over 50%. Uh, 51, ideally, is where we want to be to, to start thinking about uh, independence. So we'll watch religious happiness probably grow uh, substantially pretty soon. Check out the building on this logging camp. 0% done. So far, so good. <laughs> we'll... Um Maybe take some time and... Oh, our approval rating actually went down there for a second, but I'm pretty sure that'll go up as people stop being unemployed and start moving into places like this. Uh, we also have another task. His Majesty personally inspected several reports from your colony and discovered a major oversight in your designs. All right, this is an unfortunate task. They want two upgraded plantations. The good news is... We can get it done right away. All we need to do is actually build the upgrade for this one, but it's 4,000. Doesn't really help us that much, but it will complete it at least. So we get a six-month mandate increase, and I guess I'll just take another um, 5,000 gold right away. Revolutionary movement is growing stronger. All right, so this is, uh, I think, because I completed the trigger. Now I can um, take, I actually completed that mission, basically. Uh, let's take import right, revolutionaries, use. and now we can build a military fort as well, which is another great way to, A, protect our populace, because we'll have a lot more soldiers, and, B, give us uh, more jobs that people can actually uh, benefit from. Which way does the road go? I, that sometimes does confuse me a little bit, but I think if we just place this here, it should be fine, unless I'm mistaken. No, I think that they'll be totally fine to get to that military fort. 
All right, so this will uh, really solve any unemployment problem we might have right now. Yeah, w with a, a surplus of jobs, actually. Now, they're coming back from their, you know, discovery over here. Did they find anything? Doesn't really appear so, but at least we've, you know, removed a little bit of the fog of war. Start exploring our environment a little bit. In fact, you know, typically... Oh, there's a mining deposit right there. It's so far away, though. Is there one closer? There's one right there. I don't know if that's technically closer. There's one right there, too. Or was, maybe that was the same one. We'll probably send out another expedition, and we'll send it up to this hill here. But I doubt we'll start mining anytime soon. So, uh, our, you know, the favor is starting to go up a little bit more. Military fort is almost complete. Oh, I should do more research. I kind of wish the game was a little bit, uh... More vigilant about constantly telling you that you weren't actually doing research when you should be doing research, but that's okay. How many homeless do we have? Nine. Really? Even though I've built these country homes? They're not even all stacked up yet. Well, um, we could build some more in the residential mode here. These also provide food, which is nice, but, uh, I mean, I guess I would kind of just prefer it if... People will just, I, you can live in the country homes for free, like, that's fine. It's probably not, but uh, it, it's fine by me. But, you know, our, our approval rating is growing quite strong. We have Catholic workers, which is awesome. His Majesty's underwater palace has begun. The crown requires a great many tons of your crops to help pay for this massive project. All right, so he's building an underwater palace. We'll send the original amount, which will give us a mandate extension. Uh, it costs us 10,000 crops, but that's okay. We have another task. Our soldiers may be few in number, but the fire of the revolution burns in their hearts. We need more brave men and women like them. So this is wonderful, because we already built a military fort, so by accepting that task... Um, oh, does she really need us to build a second military fort? That is kind of bullshit, but we can do it anyway, because it'll be nice to give our people jobs. We really don't need two military forts uh, in our society, but I, I guess we'll take it, because it'll give us uh, revolutionary support. We need some more money first, though, so hopefully um, this pays us quite handsomely. Our And our support is growing really, really strong now, actually. 38%. We can probably get the... Yeah, it says suggested building a tavern. That's exactly what I was going to build, actually. Um... In building a tavern, people will become extremely happy with us uh, because now they'll actually have some entertainment here. Now, it said this was a green area, which seems weird to me, but maybe the dock workers like to drink. I don't know. Can we see entertainment on the island here? Uh, we can see beauty. Uh, I guess maybe the, the tavern being close to a beautiful area like the docks means it'll make more money. The revolutionary movement is growing stronger. Okay, so we researched four men, and I think that's why we can get uh, even I more revolutionaries here. And, um, we're exporting some agriculture. The tavern's gonna be done soon. We might be able to declare independence, actually, over the course of this video, which would be Governor, surprising. Governor, we need to inspire the people and set an example for the proletariat. We need to create a working-class hero. Alright, so basically hire a new manager. Um... We can just hire, maybe, a foreman? Effectiveness and job... Effectiveness increased and job quality reduced by 10. Okay, so we'll... Increase the effectiveness of our library people. Um, by having a foreman work there. And that'll complete that task as well. Um, and we'll just take uh, new revolutionaries again, because we want that population. And we want, you know, uh, smart people to be in our society. But we'll raise the budget of this too, so their job quality doesn't fall. Uh, very much. And this will also mean research happens faster. We do need to get the shovel. We'll get the shovel. Um, even though we're probably not gonna get mine soon, because it'll finish so quickly. Okay, let's pause for a second. Because now we have a huge population influx. We have eight unemployed with zero open jobs. That means we are going to build a new military fort, because that's another task for us. I hate that I'm building a second military fort, but it is not the end of the world. Um, we'll, we'll stick it over here, and, uh, we will build a road to it. Makes our island look kind of ugly. We could always demolish it later if we want to, but I'm not going to in all likelihood. Um, speed things up here. So this will basically uh, solve our unemployment issues, I think. How do we get our, our happiness even higher than this 44% that we have right now? Well, the way that I would probably suggest it is just by increasing the quality of everybody's job. So rather than building something else, I mean, one thing we can do is also look at uh, just happiness overall here. 
Overall happiness is 32. Entertainment happiness is pretty low, but it's going up. Um, everything else is doing all right, actually. Liberty could be higher. Housing could be higher. Um, do we have a suggested building right now? We don't. We could make mansions. Provide ho provides housing for four families. Beauty improves the housing quality of the mansion. But really, we kind of just need, you know, regular houses that people can live in. Because we have, like, presently homeless people living in shacks uh, scattered throughout our uh, our town, which I don't really like. Not because I, I hate the homeless or anything like that. I just feel like it should be better for us to maybe provide wealth to the people. So what I'm actually going to do to raise happiness is actually just increase the budgets uh, of basically every building that we've got going on here. Especially ones that have a lot of people... Um, working in them. We need more research. Let's research uh, census, which will allow us to find better managers. Uh, we'll, you know, make sure you get paid well if you are a uh, military personnel here. Librarians already get paid well. That's probably going to raise happiness quite extensively. All right, we got a tornado. Uh, this is a little bit scary, depending on which buildings it chooses to destroy. But you know, natural disasters are a part of life. Sure, we'll probably take a uh, plus three educated citizens here. And actually, I just want to check out something quickly. Um, okay, revolutionaries are beloved and almost have more supporters than the uh, royalists, so um, we should be able to declare independence really soon. We'll see what this tornado destroys. We, oh, we actually got over 50% there. That is kind of crazy. Um, let's just see what this tornado destroys. It should be complete. It's going in the other direction now, so I'm not really as concerned as I was uh, a while ago. Alright, so they destroyed two country homes, and we got $3,200 in disaster relief from the international community. We can uh, rebuild these pretty easily. We actually made 200 credits on that. Now, we can declare independence. Uh, loading screens happen, like, every three or four years in the game. Um, we're not going to declare independence right now, just because I kind of want to wait for... Well, let me check out homelessness and, uh, like, jobs... 10 unemployed still. Uh, let's uh, let's make another plantation. But I want to complete this agricultural export situation first so that I can maybe get an extra, you know, $5,000 in my Swiss bank account easily from the crown before we declare independence. So let's get a plantation going here. Uh, this can be a uh, pineapple plantation. Yeah, it's a pretty good location uh, back here. So right there seems pretty good to me. I hope I didn't... Uh, I think I might have placed it a little bit too close to the uh, the previous plantation, but maybe that's okay. And we'll just get a road going here, like so. You know, my roads don't look that janky so far. I'm okay with that. Um, do we have another task? We have do. Workers of Tropico, unite! All right, export 3,000 meat. I'm going to abandon that one just because we don't need more revolutionary support right now. And as soon as we finish exporting our grain, we'll declare independence. But we want to keep our populace happy because um, it's not like, you know, things just stop being important after we declare independence. We want to make sure that we're sustainable after we declare independence, too. I'm going to use, um, you know what, we're actually not going to do a military expedition right now to explore what's going on up here. Oh, there's like ruins up there. We will explore those after we finish our, um, after we finish declaring independence, which actually our support is dipping a little bit, which is a little frightening. Um, let's make sure, you know, people that work in the farms are well off. And we'll research, uh, constitution, which is important. Population, help, uh, health and happiness, still pretty good. And this will probably be the end of our grain exports, which is nice. And let me just very quickly check again. Unemployed. Unemployed three, open jobs two. That seems pretty good. So I'm going to take a personal gift into my Swiss bank account. Because now that we've exported those goods, we can. And then I'm going to... Declare independence. So this will be the, probably the last thing we do over the course of this episode. When you declare independence, you have two possible options. You can either buy your freedom for $10,000 in debt, or you can fight off the crown forces. We have so much more than 10000 right now that I really feel like we should just buy our freedom. But I'm going to let them come instead, and we'll, we'll fight them off. So they'll come in here. Let's slow it down a little bit. Uh, our military forts and uh, the amount of soldiers that we've kind of created in our population are going to make it pretty easy for us to repel these guys. You know, we can get a closer view of the actual battles here. It's not like a real-time strategy game in the sense that, you know, we can control our units or anything like that, but we can just monitor them and see how they're doing. Um, do we have more military forces coming over this way? We do, thankfully, otherwise we'd be in trouble. But it's nice to have these guard towers, because the guard towers, you know, the people inside of them are protected. 
Um, we are, I wouldn't say we're losing this fight, but it could be going better. But now that we have reinforcements coming in, we should be fine. Maybe we started to route them a little bit here, which is good. But we did lose some, some troops, but that's okay. Our, our popularity is still above 50%, which is the only thing that matters uh, for now. And pretty soon they're going to be totally routed, I think. Five out of eight, six out of eight. These people are probably going to choose to run or die. And I think we've lost two population members so far, which is not so bad. So hopefully we can just finish this off. We can probably speed it up at this point, I suppose. And um, I believe that our independence should not be in question. Just making sure there's no more reinforcements coming. Um, yeah, there we go. So now we've entered the World Wars era. Let's take a brief second to make sure that, um, you know, our society is still okay here. All right, so there is like that kind of dialogue that happens uh, in the game now that we are in the World War era, kind of like a you know, Good Morning Vietnam type Robin Williams thing, and the buildings change as well, and the roads. So uh, this takes place. You can see our year now instead of a mandate. This is March 1914. I don't know when things move on to the Cold War era, to be honest with you. We'll be able to set our constitution after we research it here. So we've declared independence much more quickly than I normally do. Let's quickly check out our population. Zero unemployed, three open jobs. I am totally okay with that. We have one ship. We may want to set that ship to uh, export something. Export coffee. Do we have a coffee plantation? Pineapple? Corn? So no is the answer to that question. Um, oh no, wait. I have another one over here, don't I? Sugar. Hmm. Coffee, corn, sugar. These are all imports. I don't want to do that. We don't really want to export gold to the Axis for now. Um, we can ally ourselves with these people later. I don't know if we really want to do a deal here. You know what? We might want to. Let, let's import something for once. Let's import something we, we don't get very much of. Let's import fish from Cuba. There you go. Add that ship. Welcome to the party. Okay, so we'll wait for our constitution to be done. Uh, but for now, I think we just let things kind of stabilize here. The unfortunate thing is now citizens start demanding elections. So we can participate in some kind of, you know, electoral fraud. But ideally, I'd like to just keep people relatively happy, if possible. Let's uh, have our military fort do some uh, exploration of these ruins over here. And we'll see if we have the opportunity to get something as a result. It's a great time to be a diplomat. Everyone is running left and right trying to get allies for the Great War. Banquets and lavish gifts are becoming part of my daily routine. All right, so as I understand it, I haven't played very much of the World War era, but basically you build an embassy and then you choose to align yourself with either the allies or the Axis and they give you, uh, you know, supplies and money and stuff like that. So we'll accept this, obviously, and we'll, we'll start building an embassy. But in order to build an embassy, we need to research it first and we still have two months of research going here. Um, yeah, we need white flag and we need two more technologies for that. So that's going to be a goal that we probably won't reach for a couple of episodes. Uh, I'm excited to see just what the heck's going to happen up here, though. Wait, the leaders of the Tropican Nation. All right, so this is our constitution. Um, it, there was some interrupting there, but that's okay. So we can choose voting rights. We can choose male citizens vote, which gives fewer voters based on chauvinistic gender discrimination. Wealthy citizens vote based on wealth discrimination, so we only have to make males happy or we only have to make, you know, rich people happy. Or all citizens vote. Let's start with just wealthy citizens vote, which is kind of the default. And, um, you know, we'll move from there into what I would consider an ideal. This is a good time to point out that as in any of these strategy games, these do not represent my actual beliefs necessarily. It's just a video game. The worst place to argue about any of this stuff is YouTube comments. So think twice before you, you know, open your face and make everybody think you're a dingleberry. Um, we could be a theocracy. We could be a secular state or we could be an atheist state. Uh, each one of these provides their own benefits. Atheism gives you faster research, but less citizens that are religious. Secular state gives you increased happiness because you can, you know, either be a, you be a theologian or not be a believer if you want to. And uh, both of those will make you happy because we allow it. Or uh, religious buildings lower crime in their vicinity in a theocracy. But we're going to go secular state, kind of like the middle ground there. And for armed forces, we'll, uh, we'll take conscription so we can conscript our entire populace and we'll uh, stamp that constitution in there. And uh, for now, we'll just see what we're going to get from here. Probably more money. Now a lot of more... Um, oh, we should research uh, 
We should research. I guess we have to research paper. Nine months, man, it's a while away. Um, we have new buildings that have opened up to us as well. So we have a parking lot, increases the number of people who use cars and the job quality of all workplaces in the area based on effectiveness. Let's take some time to look at all these. We can, uh, oh, we didn't get any new buildings there, actually. That's fine. We could build a textile mill, produces cloth from wool and cotton. We don't really, I mean, we, we should build a lumber mill, actually, because we have um, a logging camp. So it just makes sense to do that. In fact, I should have done that probably a lot earlier. Um, but this will allow us to produce planks, which is fine. Let's see what else we've got here. I would like to produce cloth as well. Maybe we could become a cloth export nation. We can make cigars from tobacco or rum from sugar. Let me um, pause for a second. Do we have a lot of... We have pineapples, sugar. What's the effectiveness here? 142. That seems pretty good. And we have corn. You know what? Let's build a uh, let's build a rum distillery as well. Sixteen thousand five hundred, but eight workers of reasonable education. We'll put this close to the uh, the sugar plantation, like so. Uh, actually, like so. And this will take a while to build, but that's okay. We'll connect it also via a road. I have very little money now. This might have been a foolish decision, but perhaps that's okay. And we're unfortunately because of the way that I built this. You know, we're going to have to take the long road to get to the, <laughs> the rum factory, but that's okay. Um, okay, uh, let's take a look at some other buildings, but we're not going to build any. Um, residential, we can now build actual houses and tenements as well, which, uh, you know, is maybe low-quality housing, but that could be good for us to at least house people. We can build restaurants, okay. We can now build a cabaret or ancient ruins. Uh, maybe if I dis after I discover this, uh, we'll be able to use this as like a tourist location. That would be cool. For tourism, we can't actually build anything yet until the Cold War. We can now build a clinic, which is extremely important for uh, the health of our citizens. Right now, we have zero health happiness. We can build a high school. That seems extremely important as well. And a barracks. All right, cool. Well, that's probably where we're going to end this episode. How long until our next ship shows up? I might need more money. <laughs> Uh, maybe we're doing okay. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. We've entered the World War era. We're going to explore our, uh, situation a little bit more here. You oh, we can construct ancient ruins here. Maybe we'll do that as well, become like a tourism hub. Uh, yeah, again, if you enjoyed the episode, your support helps a great deal. Click the like button. Helps out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.